Sunny 93.3. Thank you so much for listening. We've got a special guest joining us right now for our business spotlight, Vincent Nye. He's with Expansion Capital Group. Hi, sir. I'm doing well. Now, you got a little bit of an accent there. I think that's really cool. Where are you originally from? I'm originally from Texas. Well, welcome to Sioux Falls. How long have you been here? I've been here about four years. And Expansion, Ca- Expansion Capital Group just recently got some really nice accolades on a national level. Uh, the It says right here, best place to work in financial technology in 2019. That's pretty darn cool. That's very cool. Very proud of that. Uh, it required uh, our, our team to participate in some survey work uh, for a, a national media house that um, found us to be worthy. And we're very proud of it and proud of it for our team. We also uh, received an accolade from Inc. 5000 of being one of the fastest growing uh, fintech companies as well. That is fantastic. What brought you to Sioux Falls, and how did you choose to come here to, to do what you're doing? I, first of all, thanks for being here, but but how did you choose this on that giant map of the world to, to be right here? Well, first, thanks for having us. We appreciate <laughs> you taking time out to host us. Um, Sioux Falls is really a uh, matter of picking South Dakota, who have uh, a regulatory embodiment that is more logically aligned with financial services in the United States. Very, very nice. And then I suppose if you're in South Dakota and you want people to be able to work there, you need to be where there's people, right? Uh, absolutely. Uh, South Dakota has been also the recipient of some great accolades recently on the national landscape. And we're a bit of a early mover there, I guess, because we've been here for about five years and um, have seen some of that uh, you know, cause the marketplace to be a bit more robust. Very, very nice. So let's talk about Expansion Capital Group, because when when I hear that name, I don't know exactly what that means, but I'll bet you do. (laughs) I do, exactly. Uh, So Expansion Capital Group was a a moniker that the ambition was to be somewhat explanatory, which is capital for a business to expand. Um, It was largely brought to life out of the belief that the marketplace did not supply or or make available capital at a level that small businesses in America need in order for them to propagate and to to flourish. Um, I come from a a fairly small town in Texas. I was um, a young, I guess, um, entrepreneurial spirited young man, and I I had a lawn mowing service that included a couple little cemeteries in town. And from there, Fast forward a bit through some educational process and, and ultimately wound up in some dry cleaning establishments as well as developing stores. And the consistent aspect of that all the way back to my teen years and then into my uh, early adulthood was capital constraints. Um, the inability to be able to advance your business or sustain your business because of the timing or the lack of timing on available capital and available resources. When we had the 2008-2009 bank reset, if you will, uh, in America, a, a significant portion of what was available got disrupted. Some of the mechanisms um, vis-a-vis credit card financing that many entrepreneurs um, find themselves faced with, balance transfers, which allowed for low or no uh, interest levels, largely went by the wayside through the CARD Act, and so you had a tremendous disruption. Many small businesses are encouraged and reach out to the Small Business Administration, which is a viable financing alternative. Unfortunately, it's still quite restrictive whenever you look at real risk in small businesses today. So when when a business wants the money and needs the money to grow, they don't always have that available through other resources. Exactly. Um, most any small business person will tell you that timing is always their worst enemy. And whenever you try to deal with traditional channels, Oftentimes, the amount of time that's necessary in order to position yourself to receive any funding is insurmountable, let alone the fact that the amount of underpinnings and underwriting that go along with it are such that you either don't have the ability to uh, to deliver those or you don't have the time to deliver those. And that process can stretch out 90 days very easily. We generally turn files around inside of 48 hours. Oh, very nice. And I've heard it said uh, when I talked to another business owner, they were saying, when I need money from the bank, they never have it for me. But when I don't need money, they're always here saying, hey, we want to help. Well, you know, that's generally a, a element of risk. And, um, you know, banks certainly have some uh, guidelines that restrict them from taking some of the levels of risk that small businesses are often uh, subjected to from a credit quality standpoint. And I like to think that that's where this alternative finance marketplace largely was developed out of, was the, the lack of, you know, an alignment of risk with monies available through the, uh, through the fundings. 
again, visiting right now with Vincent Ney. He's with Expansion Capital Group in Sioux Falls. They've been named the best place to work in financial technology in 2019. Uh, now, I'm assuming you work with people outside of Sioux Falls as well. It's not just Sioux Falls. This may be where you're based, but you work with, with companies all over the place, right? That is correct. Um, we work with companies all over the United States. Um, we, we have some clientele in Sioux Falls and others in South Dakota, but certainly we are uh, marketing across the United States. And the the team that you have here in Sioux Falls, how many people are uh, on board here with you? Uh, we've got about 60 people on board here in Sioux Falls. We have a couple of uh, outliers that are um, – we have some biz dev people up in the New York market, and uh, we have some mid-central folks that are, are involved in, in more of the uh, loan packaging, if you will. But the the largest group of our people, all of, virtually all of our people, are, are here in Sioux Falls. So for somebody listening, maybe they have a business and they're going, boy, this sounds like something that would be a good fit for me. How do they get a hold of you? How do they do business with you? Um, the bulk of our business you know, ultimately comes to us through uh, online means. Um, expansion Capital is, is online in a number of different forms. You can Google it and locate us. Certainly welcome to look us up and, and call as well. We receive a fair share of, of brokered traffic where you have brokers that are out there you know, marketing to, soliciting, and looking for an alignment from small businesses that are seeking capital. Um, it's a it's a bit of a, of a novelty the adva- the uh, specialty finance market still in gaining insight with uh, with business owners. You being a business owner may or may not have heard of the alternative finance world, um, and and it takes a while for folks to realize that it's out there. And that broker community tends to move that forward a little bit quicker. Well, if if somebody is looking for help, uh, what is the website that they can go to and maybe uh, reach out to you guys and hopefully get the help they need? Uh, ExpansionCapitalAdvance.com. Very, very nice. Thank you very much for taking the time, and congratulations on the accolades. Thank you for having us. We appreciate it. Again, uh, Vincent Ney, he's the president and CEO of Expansion Capital Group. We're going to throw a link also uh, with all of the information on the podcast version of this program, and you'll find that at SiouxFallsRadio.com.